I'm very excited to meet you. My name is Jeffrey W. Ingram. I'd like to introduce you to the World Builders Anvil. It is a new podcast which will be available in iTunes January 15th, 2015. It will be a topic-based show that comes out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, very early in the morning, so you can listen to it. Take a little bit of information in, food for thought, so at lunch or during break you can write some notes down. It'll give you some ideas of what to think about while you're world building, or give you some information about the world building process in general, just in case you're interested. Now, the tasks I'm going to cover are going to be focused on one specific topic, and sometimes it will be broad, but over time I'm going to get more and more into detail, and then I'll give you a rating for each of the episodes. So I'll say it's a basic rating. This is something that I think you need to do. Or it is going to be intermediate or advanced or maybe even a bit crazy because, well, you probably don't really need it, but I think it's cool, so I do it. Now, the show is going to be from the perspective of creating Earth-like fantasy worlds. However, it can be applied to science fiction. It can be applied to Earth-based fantasy. It could maybe even be applied to children's books. It all depends on the way you structure your stories, how different you get from the real world. So, for example, if I was going to create Earth-based fiction, which I have in my mind, I start creating new people who don't really exist. I create new subcultures within Earth. I don't necessarily create new countries or states, but the events that happen in those states are going to change because of my story in the world I've created that's Earth. So it can really work for either Earth or non Earth fiction, and it would even definitely work if you're doing not Earth-like fiction, except when you're developing races, you have to spend a lot more time with that. Now, to let you know a little bit about myself, I started world building probably when I was about 10. It kind of came out of my desire to read encyclopedias instead of doing schoolwork, out of reading The Hobbit early on and that fascinating world, and those things started to merge as I started to play at a very young age and to creating my own contents for worlds. And once I started doing that, it became addictive and I started making maps of worlds and it started becoming bigger and larger. And I always wanted to know what was beyond the scope of the world I was in. What was beyond that map boundary and that thing I was reading? You know, you look at the map of Middle Earth and you see this vast continent that is not displayed. And that always drove me crazy when I was a kid. I wanted to go there. It's it's a sort of an exploring nature, which I think is somewhat common. But now, I also can get very focused on it. And that can sometimes cause problems back in my personal life. I don't spend enough time doing the things I need to around the house. I don't spend enough time on myself sometimes. I forget to drink or eat for long periods of time because I'm in that zone of fantasy creative work. But it is common, I think, for most creative people when you get into that zone You don't want to be distracted by the outside world. So as I cover a task every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I will also be giving a real world task, something to make your life a little easier. Most of them at the beginning will be focused on me, but feel free to contact me with information you would wish you could tell yourself to remember to do or that you think would make your life better, and I'll share those as well too. So once again, the show's name is The World Builder's Anvil. And I'm Jeffrey W. Ingram. I will be your host on this exciting adventure. It will be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on iTunes starting on on January 15th, 2015. I'm so excited for this show to launch. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. I'm looking forward for both of us being able to collaborate together and make better fantasy worlds. So until then, get out there and start building. Oh, and don't forget to do something in the real world like eat too. Oh, and don't forget to do something in the real world like eat too.